knew I wanted to do a space theme, but that was it. I thought about doing a moon, but Red Planet would be more fun. So I started out with all my sprays, got that in the sun to dry, put a planet right in the middle. During this time, I was singing Rocket Man to myself. Here's I'm doing the stars. And that's when I come up with the idea of doing a Rocket Man. Tried to do a comet, but didn't like it. So I just axed that out. And I replaced that with some uh, purple vapor galaxy gas stuff. So I went ahead and found a file reference. And I know I could have just cut that out and spray mounted it, but that wouldn't have been fun. So <laughs> I got out my one shots and my Steve Kafka script liners, which I love. I'm actually using the quill right now for this big giant uh, color swashes. Um, and then, I, then I'll be using the script liners um, later at there. I might be using a script liner there, but no, I think I'm just using a smaller quill. Uh, there I'm using a script liner. And uh, just blocking out the colors for now. And then I go ahead and get my Iwata airbrush, cont continuing with one shot, reduced with uh, turpentine. I love the smell of turpentine. And just putting in some low lights and some highlights. Uh, getting the helmet dressed up and just getting some uh, depth to the clothing just to make it a little more 3D and give it some more, you know, just kind of that real cool animation look. Get more depth in the character. So, yeah, just uh, adding that. Highlights and low lights. And then I'm going to peel everything off. And the 77... A 3M glue, spray mount glue stuck to the surface, so I had to take it off with a uh, rubber eraser. Uh, but it did come off fairly well, just took some work. Here's a smoke stream coming off the jet pack. Uh, two versions of gray, uh, light gray and a dark gray, obviously, and just building that in. Uh, that I'm using one of the quills, Kafka quills, to do that. Then, I'm going to go ahead and grab a liner. I've got my, I got three of them that I'm going to use for different line weights. Uh, five aught, a double aught, and a aught. And uh, I'm using the aught here to get in the kind of the medium sized lines. I love these script liners. They are just absolutely awesome for doing illustration like this. And here I'm using the 5 odd to get those little tiny rivets around the eyepiece. And they're just really super great for doing little detail work. Uh, you can really feather. You can do a lot of uh, minute details with that. And here I'm using the number two to build a big thick outline around the whole thing. I like to put a big uh, thick outline around the, uh, an illustration like this because it really just makes it pop and bold. Now I'm going to come back with uh, some more airbrush white and just put in some of the uh, vapor streams coming off of his body as he's launching through space. And um, at the end of this I'm going to go ahead and do some highlights on the eyepieces and that will finish up this project. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope you get inspired to do something like it. Thanks so much for watching.